What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Yingling Brewery, and they are out of Pottsville, Pennsylvania, and this is their dark brewed porter. So this is an American porter that comes in at 4.7% alcohol by volume, 20 IBUs, and at the time of review, this bottle is approximately six weeks old. So full disclosure, I've had this one before, but with many of the Yingling beers that I've reviewed on the channel, it's been quite a while since I've had one. Uh, it's been at least, at least five years, I'd say, since I've had this one. Maybe not five years, maybe like three years say, well, since I had this one. Um, I remember enjoying it. It was a solid American porter. The funny thing about this beer is it's the base beer to their Hershey's Chocolate Porter. And I reviewed that beer, I think it was three years ago. And when I reviewed it, I said, this beer is delicious, but the base beer is a bit weak. What is the base beer? This. So we'll see if I still enjoy this one to some degree. Um, I think I'm going to. Uh, most of Yingling's products I enjoy uh, regardless of, you know, what I thought about them in the past, most of them I have enjoyed recently. The Pilsner was the only one that I really didn't uh, like. I mean, it was okay, but I, I don't know. I wasn't I wasn't a huge fan of that one. So hopefully this is a bit better than that. So anyway, we'll give it a pour. It's pouring out more like a dark brown, like a mahogany uh, in the glass. So it's going to be definitely more of a uh, yeah pitch black. I'm using the Great Lakes glass here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I think uh, Edmonds Fitzgerald is one of, if not the... I shouldn't, I was going to say the best. I'm going to say, in my opinion, personally, it's one of the best American porters, if not the best, uh, at least in my opinion. Um, so I wanted to use this glass because I don't get to use it all that often. So yeah, it has a, you know, pitch black look to it at the bottom here. It has dark brown tinges, had about almost a finger of a, uh, we'll say khaki colored head it has now dissipated into almost a thin film. Uh, yeah, it looks nice. It's actually a little bit of alcohol legs, which is crazy. It's 4.7%. Hey, you can see it. It's kind of interesting. Um, let's get a nose. Ooh, that's really nice, actually. It already has a nice chocolate note, so that Hershey's uh, chocolate porter is just uh, ramping up the chocolate notes. And this is, has like a nice semi-sweet kind of chocolate, uh, maybe a little bit of like a bittering chocolate. It's not super sweet, but it's, you know, a little bit sweet, like a 40 or 50% cacao bar, something like that. Nice caramel notes, maybe a little bit of like a slight molasses. There's a fruity thing going on here, like a like a black cherry. A berry, maybe, but more of a black cherry than anything. It's a nice earthy uh, kind of component to this one. Slight roasted uh, qualities, too. Wow, this actually smells nice. This is, uh, you know, there's some condensation on the glass because it's a little bit warmer down here. We're having, like, one last hurrah of summer here in uh, the Buffalo, New York area. But, uh... This was um, out of my fridge, I kept maybe half an hour of fridge, so it's probably in the 50-something degree range, probably like 50 to 55. Yeah, I mean, it smells pretty good. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. It's solid. It's So this is the best way I could describe this one after that. Actually, let me take a second, and then we'll describe it. Yeah, the best way I could des describe this one is it's a fantastic value porter. And what I mean by that is we usually do price and availability at the end, right? But this is from one of the biggest you know, craft breweries in the nation here in the U.S. And I believe 12 packs of this is like $15.99. So you're just talking just over a buck a bottle, right? Like a, whatever it is, like a buck, buck 25 a bottle. For a buck 25 a bottle, this is nice. If I was paying two fifty dollars for a bottle of this, not as nice, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's do the review. Body mouthfeel. Body in this one's a little bit thin. It's like higher side of light, lower side of medium, like, you know, right in between uh, the two. It's 4.7%, so always keep that in mind. You know, you're talking about, I think Emma's Fitzgerald's, what's Emma Fitzgerald, like in the fives, high fives, low sixes. A lot of the American porters, the ones that I like, are usually like five and a half to six and a half. So this is a little bit lower. It's like a session porter, right? So the body's fine for what it is. I'd still like it a little bit, you know, bigger. The mouthfeel, it has good carbonation, but it has a nice smoothness on the finish. Touch of creaminess too, as it um, passes through the palate. So body, probably appropriate for the ABV and mouthfeel, nice. The taste, there's not a lot going, like there's not a huge, like in-depth, super complex characteristic that I'm pulling out of it, but it has nice, slight chocolate flavors, little bit 
to the sweeter side of things. There's a slight roasted malt quality, a touch of caramel and toffee. All subtle, but there. About a third of the way through the palate, I'm getting hit with that like black cherry. There's also like a like a pur like a purple grape. You ever have those like moon drop grapes? I love them. They look like little mini eggplants. It has a little bit of a character like that, like a sweetness from that. And then halfway through the palate, the um, hops hit. They're earthy. Maybe a slight of like a I want to say more earthy than anything. Maybe a slight like floral thing going on. More earthy. And this beer dries out nicely. This is a semi to full on dryness. Mild bitterness, not a lot of bitterness going on, but you kind of don't expect it from the style. So it has a pretty good balance to it. But for again, for a value porter, something that you would pick up a 12 pack up and 12 pack of and maybe drink over the course of a weekend or like a week or two. And you know, you want a couple at a time. It's you know, sub 5%. So you could drink two or three of them and not feel uh, too much from it. I think you could do a lot worse. Um, is it my, one of my favorites from Yingling? No, but I do think since they use this, I believe for, again, the Hershey's, I don't, uh, so I, let me take that back. I think the original recipe was their, um, this beer. And then, you know, they add the Hershey's chocolate. I think that's one of the reasons why, um, I kind of diss that beer, so to speak, as far as like the base pork quality goes, because you're just taking this and that Hershey's flavor. It's very reminiscent now drinking this and remembering what I was drinking back then. And I think it was 2019. Or maybe it's 2018, three or four years ago. I don't know. I'm all that freaking shit. But I do enjoy this beer. And I wish they maybe would have bumped this up or maybe made a new recipe for that Hershey's chocolate porter. But I really like that beer as is. And I think this is solid. I'm not going to go crazy rating wise, but I think the Dark Brew Porter from Yangling, I have absolutely no issue whatsoever giving this beer a uh, high 4.35 out of 5. I'm going to go 3.6 out of 5. I think that's where it lands for me. I do think if the maybe the characteristics were a little bit more intense, a little bit more boisterous to get in the 375 range. But you, I, I, keep it, I keep this in mind. Hopefully you do as well. You're talking about a value porter, price and availability. We already talked. In my neck of the woods, it's $15.99 a 12-pack. I don't know what six-packs are. I don't know if I've actually seen six-packs of this. I've seen the 12-packs. But for that price range, like it's pretty good value. I don't think I'd give it as high of a score if this was like a regular, like that MF Fitzgerald I'm talking about, right? That's, you know, 10, 11 bucks a six pack. So you're talking, you put that into the 12 pack range, it's probably 20 to $22 for a 12 pack. If I could find that at $16 a 12 pack, I'd buy that all the time. But you know, this is a nice value porter. Availability, wherever you see Yangling, you probably should see this as one. I think they're like year round regular offerings. Maybe not though. I know a lot of places just see the Yangling lager and that's like it, the traditional lager. Um, but we here in the Buffalo, New York area definitely get a decent selection. So uh, if you're in an area or a city like that, then you probably should find this one whenever you want. Now, if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, let me know what you think about this too compared to the Hershey's Chocolate Porter considering it's this beer with you know Hershey's Chocolate being added. Because I love that beer. I give it a 425. And that just goes to show you how much I enjoyed the flavors of that beer. Because the flavors of that beer just put it over the top for me. It tasted like Hershey's Chocolate. So they kind of hit the nail on the head. This, however... You know, it's just a regular porter and it's a three, six out of five. Is that a bad rating? I don't think so, but I want to hear from you. So post a comment section. Let me know what you think about it. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. 4.7%. Can't taste it. Didn't think I would. Till the next one. Cheers.